This video will go over how the Cost of Goods Manager works. To locate the Cost of Goods Manager, simply click on the Profits tab above and click on Cogs Manager or you can go ahead and click on the tab Cogs Manager if you're already in the Profits section. The Cost of Goods Manager allows you to input and track Cost of Goods for individual ASINs. To add any Cost of Goods, you would simply click on this icon, Add Cost of Goods and this information will be used for reporting and profits analytics. It's super simple. You would select your marketplace, the rate type if it's per unit or fixed cost. It's optional to add the start and end date. You would go ahead and apply the ASIN here and the name of the COGS, the amount, and if you want to insert any notes, this is internal so it's only for your reference. And inside of this page, you'll be able to search by names, ASIN SKUs, the date range. You can sort by ASIN, product title, total COGS, total per unit, total fixed cost, per unit cost, and fixed cost. You can search by ascending and descending order as well. And then for the rate type, you can have it broken down by any, or per unit, or fixed cost. If you have any labels applied, you can easily filter for them here. The product status as well if you want to see products that are active, inactive, incomplete, or any. You can go ahead and star any of your favorites so it's easy to filter from that for them within this section. You can see right here number COGS. So this is the number of cost of goods inputted. The total amount would be per unit, the total amount per unit, or the total fixed amount. The average amount would be the average amount of the cost of goods. So essentially total amount over the number of cost of goods. And if you have any notes, you can filter for them here as well. You can go ahead and click the header to expand and view all cost of goods for each ASIN. The green number box indicated indicates how many COGS are inputted for the product. So you can see the labels, the SKU, if you inserted any dates, the rate type, the amount and if you want to still add any notes you can easily do so right here to add notes and if you wanted to delete any of the cost of goods you would just click the delete icon and go ahead and click delete you can still edit any of the current cost of goods as well by clicking that icon and for any of this information if you wanted to download it you would just go ahead and click export and this export will go ahead and ge generate a CSV report based on the date range that you have selected here. You can also import any cost of goods as well. To do this, make sure you first download the template. It has to be the CSV file before you import it within this section. And that's how to use the cost of goods manager. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and for more information please visit feedbackwiz.com.